got to put the binding on. Um, but um, it's really, really cool to talk, chat with you. Um, this has just been super nice. Well, I'm delighted to chat with you too, Elizabeth. I do have one question for you. So yeah. um, sure. it, are you in a private practice? No, I'm a law professor. So um, I work at Tulane University Law School and I teach intellectual property law and art law and a few other things. And um, so this is just part of my research and my job. I don't practice. I'm not an attorney. Uh, I come from a family that were like lawyers for 100 years. So I knew I never wanted to practice. Um, so I am a professor. So I teach students and work on cool projects and think about things. That's kind of my job is to think about the world, which is a pretty awesome job. That is really cool. Had I known that you could do that, uh, yeah. 40 years ago, I may have headed in that direction because you get, uh, I'm 61 and you get to where you say, okay, now I do what I wanted to do in life. Well, yeah. maybe I would have rather been a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Like, Can I be a lawyer? Is it too late to be a lawyer? Never too late. <laughs> Never too late. <laughs> <laughs> I, read, I don't know if you are old enough to know who Ann Landers is. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, one of my very favorite uh, letters she got was from a guy who was in his 40s, I think, maybe 50s even. And he said he had always wanted to be a doctor and, you know, it would take seven years to be a doctor and it was too late and he didn't know what to do. He felt like he failed and blah, blah. And she wrote back the most simplest and smartest answer. She wrote back, how old will you be in seven years if you don't do this? That's really nice. I like that. That's a really thought, good answer. Oh, my gosh. That's exactly <laughs> it. That's right. I totally agree. And time so, goes anyway, so do what you want to do, you know? Yes, yes. So I've, oh, I've got, I, I think that my biggest problem is I have too many ideas that I would like to do any one or five of them. <laughs> so yes. I need to do that. <laughs> one of which I'm currently doing. So uh, anyways, um, so if we, we don't currently have a copyright attorney, but maybe I don't, I don't need one unless I need uh, actually to litigate something. Right. But you could I call you and ask you questions? You can, yeah, you can call me and I can I teach you about copyright. And then there's a bunch of people I can connect you to. I can't like tell you which one to choose, but I can, um, well, off air, I can talk talk to you about people that we know that, that do understand these issues and you can choose it. But yeah, if you have a question about like you want to understand it, um, I can't give you legal advice. I can't be your attorney, but I teach it. I'm really good at teaching, <laughs> teaching you what's going on. So that you can then go to an attorney and, and I don't tell know what city Tulane University is in. Oh, pardon? I mean, state. Where, uh, we're in Louisiana. State? So this is uh, in Tulane. We're in New Orleans. Okay. Yeah. But copyright oh, lessons. Love a class from you. I live in Bend, Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be fun. Yeah. Well, we're, you know, we're getting there. I, and maybe I'll, you know, if you have questions, I mean, here's the thing. This is a research project. So if you have questions... Why don't you send them to me, and then we can chat about them in general. And I think they're probably questions other people have, too. If you have a legal issue, then we'll get you to somebody who can help you. But a lot of times it's trying to figure out what the law is so you can make some choices. Um, and that oh, yeah. you may not need a lawyer for. You just need to understand what's going on, you know. And that's part of the project is educating. So I think we should have more conversations and talk about some of the questions that are arising because I would love to do that with you. Um, one thing I would like to ask you about or have you look into yeah are we um so is this interview like you had said it would be published or do you take pieces from it and publish it yeah i think that what we'll do is um here hold on just a second i need to go grab something real quick I, there's a noise hold on one second I think like with this interview, what we'll do is um, I'll take a look at it, I'll listen to it, and then I would love to, to put out some of it, but then just edit out anything that seems kind of sensitive or that really shouldn't be out in public. And then I'll just send it to you and have you listen to it before it goes out. Does that sound like a good plan? Oh, yeah. And okay. I tried to be careful to, uh, there, there might still have been a couple things that I said. But... Yeah, I think you were really careful. Yeah. I was sort of thinking about that, but I want you to feel comfortable 
Um, yeah. And so, you know, and you were really, um, I really appreciate all the things you were talking about. So here's a plan. So I'm going to edit this and take a look and see, and then I'll send you a copy of it and you can listen to it. And then I think we should make some time just to talk about copyright um, or trademark or patent or whatever it is that you want to chat about. Um, so you could like uh, have a bunch of questions and we can just chat. And then other people yeah, could get wanna, learn. It. I'd like to tell you something um, for your for your own. Um, for my, for, for <laughs> just for me. That came out wrong. I would like to take like five seconds if that's all it would take me. I would I would love to have you look at something because I think you would find it very interesting. Interesting. I don't wish to be published about it. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I understand. Okay, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we end the, the interview officially and I'll end the recording and then we can chat off um, again. So okay. just in case people are listening, I am totally not an, an attorney. Um, Heather and others are attorneys out there. Um, I'm a copyright, I teach copyright. But Maddie and I are going to end this conversation and talk a little bit about copyright off the. But anyway, I just before we end, thank you again. Don't don't hang up. But thank you again for being part of this conversation. It was really the hour went really fast, and I you're again you're in my mind because I'm I got to make the I have a bunch of more things to make. So um, <laughs> thank you. Okay, all right. So stay on. So this is Elizabeth Townsend Guard. You've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. We want to hear from you. Join our army, our quilting army. Go to our Facebook page. Suggest people to be interviewed. Suggest yourself to be interviewed. We are excited to hear from you. But most importantly, I hope you get a chance to quilt today.